Jane Powell, the actress who charmed audiences in Hollywood's golden age of musicals, died Thursday. She was 92. Jane Powell attends a 2013 hearing in Washington, D.C., to convince lawmakers of the importance of funding the arts. Jacqueline Martin slash AP She was best known for her roles in Royal Wedding and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, which was nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. Powell brought her girl next door charisma to several musicals throughout the 1940s and 50s, first signing a contract with MGM in 1943. She later admitted that she felt pigeonholed by the similar roles, saying in 2017, I thought a real girl next door had a better time than I did. Though Powell said the movies quit me in the 50s, she continued her career on stage, making her Broadway debut in 1974 in Irene. Her final credit C. Her acting career was really her parents' dream, as they hoped to make her the next Shirley Temple. With her golden voice and irresistible charm, she proved them right, even if she would have rather been a normal kid. In this April 22, 1944, photo, Jane Powell, who just completed work in Song of the Open Road does her bit at the canteen drying dishes for dishwasher Buster Keaton, in Los Angeles, AP, they had given up so much for me that I had to do this for them, she said in 2017. It's something they really wanted. I had wanted to go to a high school. That was my utopia. My mother said, well, you can always quit. But once you get into the system, you just don't quit. It was finances for the family. Her stage name was copied from the character she played in her first film, 1943's Song of the Open Road. The studio chose Powell's name for her. She would have preferred Cheryl. After a series of MGM projects, and a singing appearance at Harry Truman's inauguration ball in 1949, Powell's star turn came in 1951 as Royal Wedding, in which she danced and sang alongside Fred Astaire. The Daily News Flash newsletter weekdays catch up on the day's top five stories every weekday afternoon. I was terrified dancing with him, but I was terrified all the time anyway, so it didn't make any difference, she said, adding that Astaire made for a wonderful on-screen partner.